Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day or night. Um, today I have a little chatty get ready with me or like doing my makeup with you guys kind of video. Um, and it's in collaboration with an amazing brand that I just discovered called Ella and Mila. They are a vegan, eco-friendly, and cruelty-free beauty brand and I want to share some of their incredible products with you guys. On my lips, I'm wearing their lip color, um, which is the uh, Spice Spice Baby, which I love, um, Creamy Lip. And then on top I have the Get The Glow Glossy, which I love, and that's them swatched on my hand, if you can see. Um, beautiful, I love it. And they were actually kind enough to give me a 20% off discount code that you guys can use. So if you click the link in the top line of the description box, you can go on over and check out Ella and Mila and get some for yourself. I want to show you some other amazing products that I didn't actually use in this video, but that I also love. Um, they've got a bunch of new colors. They got some, I think it was 8 to 10 new lip products released in November, and they kind of release them every few months. And if you buy a collection, it's a bit cheaper than buying them all individually, which is awesome. So we've also got Touch of Love Creamy Lip, which is, I think, like a velvet matte lip color, like the nude that I'm wearing. And that is such a color that I would wear. I really like that. I've also got one that I love, but I don't know that I'm actually confident enough to wear it. As of right now, this is a vampy, and this is actually called a velvet matte. Um... There. And again, this is all vegan. Like, I think that is so exciting. I love when brands are all about that. And this is actually a very nice makeup line. Whereas other brands that I know of are more beauty rather than makeup. So, so exciting. Um, I also got a clear gloss. This is called Juicy Glossy. And I love this. I didn't use it today. I don't own any clear lip gloss, and I was literally thinking the other day that I needed one because, you know, I love wearing lip gloss over top of lip colors, and this way it will match whatever I wear, so I love that. And Ella and Mila also do nail polish, and they get new, like, range every few months as well. They sent me a couple of really beautiful colors. Um, we've got the Desire, which is a beautiful little, ooh, little purple color, um, Elite in Line for Wine, which is like the best color. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's this perfect dark ruddy purple, which is like the epitome of fall, I think, nail color. Um, we've got a classic beautiful red. This is called Bad Obsession. We've also got a, a Bond a time for a bonfire and a bubble trouble, which is also beautiful. These are all colors that I would actually wear. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to um, nail polish. I quite like to stick to the basics. Then we've got a base coat and a um, fast drying top coat as well. And these are all seven free which means that they don't contain formaldehyde, toluene, basically lots of chemicals <laughs> that are actually very bad for you. So it's awesome that they actually care about you and want you to be healthy, <laughs> but still beautiful. They also do a soy polish remover. That is vitamin enriched soy nail polish remover which is amazing. Um, if you've ever painted your nails, you know that kind of disgusting alcoholic smell that comes with most nail polish removers. I can't even know. But this, you know, is um, 
actually healthy and good for you so I'm very very excited to give this a try and also how cute is the packaging I didn't mention that yet but their little logo is a cute little um elephant which I love and oh it also is made in the USA so it's eco-friendly and also um, morally you know human friendly <laughs> as well as friendly for the animals and the environment so really excited to have learned about this brand. So yeah, huge thank you to Ella and Mila for sponsoring this video and again, if you guys are interested in checking them out, I have a 20% off discount that you can use and if you click the top line of the description box, there's a link there to get some Ella and Mila for yourself and get 20% off as well. So without further ado, let's jump on into the video and in a second I'm going to look a lot different. <laughs> okay, so you've kind of already seen in my last two, I believe, makeup videos what I typically do. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of run through it quickly. If you want more details on everything, feel free to watch those. I'll try to remember to um, link those in the description box. I'm going to start out with the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. And then I'm going to let that set for about a minute or two before I apply the concealer. And I have already moisturized as well before I washed my face done my skincare, all of that good stuff. So now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. Firstly, I like to use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid. I'm gonna start with the peach and put that under my eyes to help counter, count, counteract the dark circles. And then I'm going to go in with the um, green color and put that on any um, dark marks, scars, pimples. My skin's not terribly amazing right now, actually. I'm not horrible, but um, I've definitely been eating quite a lot of junk food because it's been the holidays. Um, and I always work out when I eat food that's very oily or um, sugary, not fruit sugar, but like artificial sugars, chocolate, anything really high in fat or sugar, um, <laughs> which is like everything that you eat over the holidays, so I need to kind of cleanse my, uh, myself and, you know, eat lots of smoothies, salad, and I'm sure in a couple days my skin will be looking good, and then it will be New Year's Eve and all of, you know, be drinking and eating junk food again and I'll probably break out, <laughs> but it's worth it sometimes, I think. <laughs> um, I hope you guys all had a really amazing Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, I think it's called, or whatever else. Um, let me know in the comments the best thing that happened over the holiday season, or maybe like what you got, like if you got any gifts, what your favorite gift is. That would be cool to know. I got quite a few really nice things, um, but my favorite is a backpack. I'll show you guys at some point. It's by the company Matt and Nat. Oh, and by the way, I'm putting on um, some eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay in the color Eden. Um, it's from Matt and Nat, and it's like this black faux leather. Um, Matt and Nat basically only sells so totally vegan company, but they do very, really nice, kind of realistic, good quality fake leather. Um, and yeah, it's just a really beautiful little black leather backpack. 
and I can't wait to like bring it places. <laughs> I just really like it. I've been needing like an actually nice, good quality fake leather. Whenever I say leather or anything like that, I'm always mean fake, but um, I have had like this quite crappy cheap one from H&M, I think. And it was, um, I think maybe $30 and it lasted me well. And it lasted me quite well, but, um, it was really thin and not good quality. Oh, I have a frog on my throat or something, so I'm gonna whisper for a bit. Um, anyways, right now I'm putting on the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Just over top of any um, spots that need a bit of extra coverage. And then under my eyes as well. I'm back and I think my voice is back a little. I don't know, I can feel like there's definitely a frog in my throat. <laughs> Anyways, next I'm going to apply some foundation. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the color 230, which is typically a little too light for me, but um, just put on bronzer over top, so it'll be fine. And I'm just gonna pump just, you know, one tiny little pump. I don't need a lot because I'm not going for a total full coverage look today or anything like that. And then I just pop it on. <laughs> I've also not been feeling the greatest lately as well. Not like a cold per se, but I've just been quite tired. Um, I don't know, just haven't really been feeling myself. I think it's just because I had quite a busy holiday kind of with celebration and you guys know me. I like, like to be alone in my own bed, my own home. So, um, it was a bit much for me. I don't regret it, but I really do need to kind of um, spend the next couple of days at home <laughs> by myself, kind of recuperating and, um, you know, making sure I get my energy back up because I do have a busy weekend. Today's Thursday, so I kind of took yesterday off, which was Wednesday. Um, I didn't mean to. I wanted to film videos, um, so I'm sorry that there's, there wasn't a video on Wednesday. I'm not sure when this one is going up, but, um, I'm sorry about that. But I just was in a really, really bad mood. Like, I was feeling very down. Um, not for any particular reason. Like, there were a couple of little things that had been on my mind, but nothing crazy. But I was just so down, really low. So I spent most of the day kind of lying in bed with my cat, which was nice. I did do some work, but nothing for YouTube. Um, just for my other job. Um, um, yeah. So, sorry about that. 
that, but you know, some days you just can't control your emotions. But yeah, so I'm gonna try and stay home today and tomorrow and get lots of work done and just in general kind of recuperate. I mean, I might, you know, pop out to the stores or something, but nothing crazy social. And then I know tomorrow I also am going to, um, oh, I'm putting more concealer on now. Going to the movies with my roommate because I have my parents gave me like ages ago um, a little coupon for like two coupons for free movies, but they expire at the end of the year. So um, I kind of was saving them for when I really wanted to see a movie, and nothing really came about. But I have been wanting to see the disastrous. So I asked my roommate, who was like one of my I would say good friends. I really like her. Yeah. She would be down to go, so I think we're gonna go see that tomorrow, which should be fun. Just gonna blend that out a bit more with the buffing brush. Yeah, if you guys have seen The Disaster Artist, let me know. It got really good reviews. Um, and I think James Franco is like, they like, really like him, so I'm excited, honestly, because I haven't gone to the movies in a, quite a long time. The last thing I saw in theaters was maybe it. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> and then now I'm gonna apply some translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And then just apply that with a little buffing brush from um, Real Techniques. And I mostly kind of focus this around my eyes, under my eyes, to kind of set the concealer. And then just put whatever's left everywhere else. Like so. Okay. Next I'm gonna apply some face powders. I'm gonna just contour a little bit. I'm just looking in the viewfinder because you don't have a mirror. Um you don't have enough hands. <laughs> use the Tarte Party Amazon Ink Clay Blush um, on a, the same brush I just used and just pop a little bit of color onto my cheeks and again, sorry I'm looking at the viewfinder but I'm holding it in the sand okay, I think that's good and just popping a little bit of highlighter. I actually got the Fenty Beauty highlighter for Christmas, which is awesome. But my um, 
old one for Mac that um, is almost out, so I'm trying to use it up. But um, the Fenty one is beautiful. I love Fenty, honestly. Let me know if you guys have tried um, the Fenty Beauty line and what your favorite products are from it. Give me recommendations, because I quite like it. And sorry, I keep on putting the mirror in front of the camera. It must be annoying for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow. This is Urban Decay Sellout. Looks like that. Um, and just put it all over my eyelids. I'm not gonna do anything else, I don't think. Can't really be bothered. Now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows um, to do this. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow and the number 12 brush from Anastasia. I just dip a little bit in and then fill my brows in. Just honestly follow the shape of my natural um, arc, I guess. And just kind of make them a bit more neat. Hope you can see that. Okay, I'm going to do my other brow and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of cream eyeliner in my waterline and this is from Pacifica and then I'm gonna apply mascara from Tarte I use the, oh sorry, Too Faced Better Than Sex on my top lashes and the Tarte Lifted on my bottom lashes so I'll do that and then be back okay, and then lastly I'm going to try out the Ella and Mila is also the funnest names I think if I ever had two girls. Ella and then Mila would be the cutest names, right? But anyways, I think I'm going to use this one. I just watched it. And this is the Spice Spice Baby Creamy Lips. And oh my god, you guys, this smells so good. Like vanilla, minty. I think it's reminding me of um, white. Tacs. Oh, I want one now. It smells so good. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that on my lips. Let's give it a try. So I would say this is kind of like, ooh, look at that, like a nudie peach. I love that, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let that set, and then I'm gonna put on one of the like, lip glosses over top. Um, and again, just to reiterate, this brand is vegan, eco-friendly, and cruelty-free, which you guys know is so important to me when it comes to anything, but especially um, makeup when I'm trying to find new brands to try. And you can get 20% off, and I have a link that you can click on to get that discount. So, um, if you're interested, definitely check it out. Check them out. So, my two options, I think, are either the Juicy Glossy, which is just looks like a clear lip gloss, standard, amazing, or the Get the Glow Glossy, which 
much as this like champagne glitter which is freaking amazing I'm gonna smell these actually let's see um I don't actually smell much it doesn't smell bad it doesn't smell as strongly as um, the white Tic Tacs but I can kind of smell that um, but I think I want to try this one today. Let's smell it first. Oh, this is minty almost. Oh, I just swatched that. Can you see? Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's pop a little bit of that on top. Okay, so the, um, the creamy lip kind of dried. So it's definitely, I would say, a velvet matte lip, if you will. Oh my god. How perfect is this color for New Year's? Oh my goodness, it's like a champagne glitter. But it still lets the nudie color come through. I am obsessed. Love that. <sighs> Alright, so that everything for this video. I hope you liked that and that you liked learning about a new vegan brand I did. I thought that was so exciting. Um, be sure, like I said, to check out the link in the description box and get yourself some Alan Mila. Um, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you again soon.